Oh, hello. Welcome everyone to Catfish Corner. I'm Catfish Franklin, and today's story is called The Ballad of Casey Jones. Uh, but real quick, I would like to say, if you dig this sort of thing, feel free to hit those buttons, you know, uh, subscribe, the bell, like, share, the letter keys, or uh, feel free to donate at the link in the description below. Um, anyway, Casey Jones. Real person, real American story. Um, let's see now. This The famous wreck happened in 1900, and as I can see it, the, the lyrics of the song are pretty factual. Uh, Casey was allegedly uh, filling in for someone who was sick, taking their train after he brought in another train, so he's working a double, and uh, the train was already late, and Casey was known for bringing his trains in on time, and he also had a souped-up locomotive that he would often uh, use, which he used on this occasion. And he had his fireman, Sam Webb, who they call Sim in the song, but I believe his real name was Sam, had Sam Webb with him. And they were making good time, possibly going to bring it in on time, uh, when they encountered a train on the tracks, stopped. Now, the railroad guys with that train say that they put up the proper warning signals uh, for oncoming trains, but for whatever reason, Casey and uh, Sam did not see those. So uh, Sam was able to dive to safety, and Casey tried to stop the train, and he died trying to stop the train. Um, and he was the only one who died. So uh, it's unclear if either of the trains were passenger trains, but nonetheless, there were other people around, and uh, you know he was the only one who died, so he's a hero of sorts. And uh, then this guy, Wallace Saunders, who was an engine wiper, which is basically uh, an intern at the railroad yards. Uh, he was just a young kid at the time, would follow these guys around and they would tell him what to do, you know, so he could learn the ways of the railroad yard and trains. And uh, he idolized Casey and wrote this song about Casey uh, after his death to, to memorialize his hero. Uh, nothing happened much with the song for a while, and then eventually these vaudeville guys got a hold of it, turned it into a comedy act, uh, and they added a verse about Casey's wife having a man on a different line, uh, which is uh, untrue, she says, and she always did not, did not uh, like those lyrics. Uh, they offended her, uh, because it wasn't true. So uh, the version I'm doing doesn't have those lyrics today. I don't think the song needs it. But, um, anyway, uh, I guess that's about it. guess we better, better get her going, see what we're working with here. Come all you rounders if you want to hear A story about a brave engineer Casey Jones was the rounder's name T'was on the Illinois Central that he won his fame April 
30, 1900, that a rainy morn. Down in Mississippi, near the town of Vaughn, sped the cannonball special, only two minutes late. Traveling 70 miles an hour when they saw a freight. Oh my. Caboose number 83 was on the main line. Casey's last word for jumps in while you've got the time. Eight to four that morning came the fateful end. Casey took his farewell trip to the promised land. Casey Jones, he died at the throttle. Casey Jones with his whistle in his hand. Casey Jones, he died at the throttle. But we'll all see Casey in the promised land. Casey's wife and three children were left to mourn. The tragic death of Casey that April morn May the God through his goodness keep them by his grace So they all need to Casey in that heavenly place Casey's body lies buried in Jackson, Tennessee Close beside the tracks of the old I.C. May his spirit live forever throughout the land As the greatest of all heroes of a railroad train wreck that was. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's the story of Casey Jones, everyone. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.